Hi everyone, um, I put my video up about a couple of the bits that I'd got from the craft fair and I got a few comments asking me to show, so here's my video showing what I got. I will start with my inks, I only got three because they were a bit expensive at this crafting fair, they weren't as cheap as the last one. And I've got Twisted Citron, Candied Apple and Abandoned Coral, but I've already got this so I'm going to put this into my swap box. Then moving on, this big old item, I got the the big score. Um, this is the DVD that comes with it. And it shows you how to make all of those boxes down the bottom. It is absolutely massive. It is a really, really, really big scoreboard. That's the scoreboard that comes with the scoring tool. Um, uh, it's and it says there that it's a scoring board larger than the scoring boards before, double the size. Um, so, yeah, I thought I'd give that a go. It was reduced from £34 to £19.99. So let me get that out of the way. Sorry, because it's just so big, that thing. Right, let's get into this bag now. I got some of this glue. Pin flare glue, and I believe that this is like epoxy glue, it just dries clear. So I picked up some of that. I also got some glitter magic, and this dries completely clear. And I am going to show you what I'm going to do with these because I picked up a couple of clear glues, and I'm pretty sure that Pip's going to pick them up as well. There's a really thin glue nib because there's a really, really cool technique with. Um, acetate and i am going to show you on my channel so i picked up two of those and those are really really fine nibs in there these glues dry completely clear so if you want to do my craft with me you're going to need to get some glue that dries completely clear i also got some of this cosmic shimmer glue this is a repeat purchase a little glossy accent uh two of these quickie glue pens and these are amazing uh, I had a little draw with it when I got back because I thought, well, is it really going to work? You know, it is amazing. It draws a blue line and then when it dries, it dries completely clear. And I'll take one. That is the nib, but there's also a little ball on there that you take off. I'm not going to take it off now because I'm not using it. There we are. These are so, so, so good. Um, I haven't stuck anything with them yet, but they are fabulous. Someone on my channel asked me to pick these up. I cannot remember who it was, so if it was you, um, I'm going to go back to my old video actually and have a look. But somebody asked me to pick these up for her, and I saw them at every cross a pound, so I picked them up. Uh, I picked up these scissors for myself because apparently it makes it easier, and I seem to have some type of repetitive strain or something in my shoulder. These were a pound. Um, right, let's get that bag out of the way. The next bag I picked up these things from every crafts a pound. I picked up a magazine, it was 50p and it's got some stickers in it, so I'll throw that out of the way and I'll show you what was in it. You get this little book, notebook, and these stickers. So I thought that was worth it. I just picked them up. I'm gonna throw the book away because the book is from 2016. Um Every cross a pound was there and they were selling these giant packs of paper for a pound. But everybody, I just can't believe how good this is. Right. If you see this, this is like plastic. Like, oh my gosh, it is fabulous. I'm going to use this to make some bows. And then, just underneath, I won't show you all of them because there's so many in there. And then I've got like this leather gold. I hope you can see. Oh, they're fabulous. So I picked that one up. And everybody was sort of going mad at the Every Cross a Pound paper bin because they'd just put some in. People was kind of pushing and shoving a bit. So I got that one. I got the one with some of the lovely reds. And, and as you can see, there's lots of different ones in there. I'm just not going to go through them unless you want me to in a different video. I also got, oh, this gold, 
orangey gold red kind of and then there is more of the gold on the back but it doesn't look like it's the same sort of card but it does look like high quality card and I also got a pack of the 10 sheets, sorry there, <laughs> 10 sheets of the silver cardstock for £1. Um, and every crafts a pound had the 12 items for £10. I don't know if you can see those, but these are really, really nice. So if anyone's making an order from every crafts a pound anytime soon, if they still have them... Oh gosh, there they are. They're just these giant snowflake cards and I'm actually going to alter these. So I really like these. I probably should have got more than one packet, but I didn't. So I also picked up two of these gems. I picked up three packs of these. I picked two of the pink and one of these red. And I think these are really pretty for the berries on Holly. And these are really pretty for, if you watch Creator to Create Ida, she makes these fabulous projects with all these little pinky bits and stuff. So, Ida, look. I also got an embossing folder. I picked two of these up, one for myself and one for my niece. They were £1 each. Most of my items were £1 each. This was £4.75. Um, and I believe that, yeah, no, everything else, apart from this, this was £4, but yeah, everything else was. Um, these stickers, they've got in every craft a pound, so I assume they'll be coming to their website, and they're two for £1, so I've got that one. And these are the same stickers that my boutique shop down the road has, and they're a pound each in there, so i got two packs of those, one to share. I got this to share and this one's to share too and this one is for myself so that's that bag and we're doing some time uh, I went to the stall and they had these they were £2.50 and they are the let me get one out for you because that is a horrible view I picked up three packages because I've never seen these before and I just thought they were so beautiful. They're these glass bird picks. And you get three in a pack for £2.50. So I did guiltily pick up three packs because I've never seen anything like that. And I just thought they were fabulous. So we'll pop those off to the side. Now I also picked up some beads and trims and... Right, let's get stuck in. These were all a pound each, except these. These were 50p. And these are bling frames. So I'm going to make some really, really blingy Christmas frames. And I picked up two of those. Right, I picked up this bag of trim for a pound in pink. I picked up this really... Let me get that one out for you. That's what that one looks like. And I got a bag of that for a pound. One stall was just absolutely fabulous. I did buy quite a lot from that stall. Um, I picked up two bags of this. Excuse the rattling of the bags, everybody. But you know what it's like with packaging. You've got to get it open. There, I picked up the cream one. Like an ivory colour. I also picked it up in the the white. Oh, let me get that open for you. There we are. I also picked it up in the white. So once I get to the end of this bag, I'm going to upload another video because... I did tell you it was going to be a long video. I also picked up two bags of these really beautiful white feathers. If you watch my video, you know that I've just bought some angel wings. And I'm going to try and do something similar. So, yeah. I also picked up... Oh, there's my other bag of... I picked these up because I'm in a swap with my purplicious friend. And these are coming her way. I hope she likes them. There's loads of different purples in there. So, yeah. I also picked these up with 50p. 
and then I picked up a pack of these little tiny pine cones. So thanks for watching everyone. I'm going to pause the video there and come back with another one. Thank you. Bye.